In this video we will demonstrate replacement of AMD motherboard with an Intel motherboard. It is recommended to use anti-static gloves or take some precaution measures to make sure that static electricity will not damage your hardware while handling components. Power supply on this PC was strong enough for the new CPU, so we will keep it. You should check before buying the new mainboard and CPU how much power is needed for the new config and upgrade the power supply if necessary. First goal is to remove all connectors from all motherboard. We will remove power connectors from the motherboard and video card. Remove SATA and other drive connectors from motherboard. Next step is to remove video card and other expansion cards connected to the motherboard. Depending how are they connected to the PC case, you might need a screwdriver to do this. Remove the PC case coolers power connectors. Before removing the PC case connectors from old motherboard, it would be a smart to take pictures of all connectors as in many cases manual from old motherboard might not be available. So if you need to connect it again to some other PC case, pictures might help to identify where connectors should go and in which direction. If they are not accessible while mainboard is connected to the PC case, you can remove screws and position the mainboard to better angle where pictures can be taken. Remove all the screws which connect motherboard with PC case. When old motherboard is out, clean the dust if any and prepare the case for the new motherboard. Last week I had uploaded video showing how to install CPU and cooler on the motherboard. See links in description of the video. Remove the RAM memory modules and install them on the new motherboard. You can see my previous video for detailed instructions how to install RAM memory, but it is demonstrated here as well. Remove the old I.O. shield from the PC case and install the new one. Match the screw holes on motherboard with the one on PC case when placing the new motherboard.
Position the screws and all the positions but do not tighten them all the way until all screws are in place. When all screws are positioned and can be connected with PC case screw holes, tie them up. Be careful not to damage the motherboard if your screwdriver slips. To connect PC case connectors to motherboard, it is necessary to have motherboard manual in hand which will describe where to connect which connector. This must be done carefully as connecting for example power connector or front USB connector in a wrong way or in wrong place can prevent you from starting computer or even cause some damage to your hardware. When PC case is connected to motherboard, connect all other devices to a new motherboard. Power supply. PC case cooler Hard disk drive and other drives Video card and other potential extension cards Connect power supply connectors to video card. When everything is connected, it should look something like this. First run should be done with an open case. Connect only keyboard and monitor. Goal is to see all devices initializing correctly, fans running and working ok and no smoke anywhere. Check the diodes from power and AGD activity as well. In case that mainboard keeps beeping or you see some smoke, turn off switch on power supply immediately or disconnect power cable to power supply. After setting up and ordering the cables, close the case and you are ready to install the windows if you plan to reinstall the whole system. Otherwise, you just need to install the new motherboard drivers and reactivate all the software on your system which depends on MAC address of your network card since motherboard is changed. Thanks for watching and good luck with the new system. Subscribe to support more similar videos in the future.